Hello, and welcome back to another four-hour diplomacy commentary. I'm so done with this. Why do we make them four hours? It's too long for anyone to talk about anything. You know what? I'll be back in a moment. Welcome to the DBNI Grand Final. Seven of the world's best players face off against each other in this ultimate event of champions. They're on their marks, and they're off. And it seems there's some initial conflict over Trieste and Venice, but look, the English fleet is in the English Channel. It's been baited into Mid-Atlantic Ocean. France has three builds behind it. That's terrible for the English player here, but if we look to the other side of the map, Austria is taking the advantage on, on Russia here with an Austria-Turkey alliance. We never see that in this kind of game. But it seems like we need to turn our attention to the north side of the map because Russia has taken Scandinavia. Look at this demolition of the English forces here. Edinburgh is down two French units in the north of the UK. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. There's now a German unit in there as well. England down to just London left. Is there anything they can do about this? I don't think so. Down goes that last unit and they're dead. That is the end of Zylstra. Let's have a look at how it's doing on the south side of the border. Looks like that Austria-Turkey alliance is going strong, but no! Look at this! It's a convoy into Romania! How did they pull that off? Serbia and Trias both down, the Italian making progress in as well. Russia has taken back Romania and Budapest goes down, Vienna goes down, and just like that, Austria is out of this game! Let's quickly ask our analyst team where England and Austria went wrong. Well, if we look at the tactics of the attack on Serbia in more detail... Sorry, I'm afraid I'm going to have to cut you off there because that's all the analysis we have time for. If we look at the board here, it looks like the Italian and the Russian work together to take out the Turk. That is not all lies. The Turks are climbing, clearly. Uh, the Italian and the Russian absolutely demolishing the Balkans. And look at this! Look at this! It's a move into Serbia from Magnamara. He's moving into Budapest. He's taken both. Russia completely undefended against such an attack. Let's go to an instant replay. And welcome back. While you're away, it looks like Griebkov managed to slip a German unit down into Budapest of all places. Austria in the middle of all of those Italian armies, but look, it's not going to last very long as Italy crushes it, absolutely demolishes it. Take Warsaw behind the Russian. This is looking like an absolute godsend for the Italian player. Is anyone going to be able to deal with this? But look at the Mediterranean here. Russ Dennis is coming down south with all of his units. It seems like the entire north side of the board has made peace to contend with the threat that is McMara. Look at Sauge in that corner, attempting to convoy out he does not manage it. His last unit is coming off the board right here, right now. It's down to just these four players as to who will be the DBNI Grand Champion. Can McMara hold on to enough senses? He's losing Vienna. He's losing his homeland. Look at these French units converging in. The Russian units coming down south as well. Italy manages to recapture Vienna, but they're still under heavy pressure here. Look at all of these nations converging on them. But of course, there's always the question of how long is this peace in the north going to last? There can only be one winner. And there comes the stab. Germany has gone for the stab. I'm hearing. Wait. I'm hearing that there is a concession vote. Is it going to go through? Yes! Peter McNamara is your new Diplomacy Broadcast Network Invitational Grand Champion. Okay, I think maybe I'm better with the 4-hour one. <laughs>